Hi friends, good morning. This is Abhishek and welcome to Ash and Abhi Vlogs. On this trip, we will be exploring Amritsar and the Atari Bot. We are already at the Delhi airport and we'll be taking a cab to Amritsar. reached Amritsar. We took a cab from the Delhi airport and it took us roughly 9 hours to reach here. Friends, we have reached the Golden Temple in Amritsar. Just to give you a little bit brief about this, this is one of the holiest places for the Sikh people. People from all walks of faith, be it Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs, Christians, anybody can come here and worship. A few facts about this temple. This is also known as Harbandir Sahib and Sri Darbar Sahib. This has four entrances, there is a pool in between and the temple is situated in between, in the middle of the pool. One very special fact about this temple is there is a langar or what you call a community kitchen and more than 150,000 people per day come to this place for worship and they can have free food. This langar is open 24 hours a day and it's free of cost for everyone. Hi friends, we have reached the Jallianwala Park. Uh, as you can see, the timings for the opening and closing is here. It's open from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Also, an important point, uh, there is a light and sound show in the evening, which gives us the whole history of the Jallianwala Park as to what happened there, why it happened, etc. etc. So that is an important show and the timings for that are here. 6.45 to 7.45, sorry, 6.45 to 7.15, it is in Hindi, it's in Punjabi as well from 6 to 6.30 p.m. So you can catch either of the shows and uh, let's go in and explore. And by the way, it's all free of cost. Let's go.
let me give you a brief history of why this memorial was built and what happened here. In 1919, Mahatma Gandhi was excluded or rather stopped from visiting Punjab. The secret deportation of Saifuddin Kichlu and Satyapal had taken place on 10th of April. A lot of places in Amritsar, there were people gathered to protest, but silent, simple protest against all these atrocities by the British. However, on 13th April 1919, when there were silent protesters here, more than thousands, General Dyer, on the orders of Michael O. Dwyer, opened fire on these thousands of civilians. They were unarmed. More than 1,650 bullets were fired and more than 1,000 Indians died that day. There was a well and hundreds of people jumped into that well to save their lives. And the well is still there. There are walls that are filled with bullet holes fired from those British guns. That is what Jallianwala Bark massacre is all about. Let's go to the museum. This is a beautiful garden that has been built around the Jallianwala Bagh Memorial. We had in Punjab Michael O'Brien, the Lieutenant Governor, who was hell bent on crushing any nationalist peace. This is the story of what happened that day in the words of this lady Ratan Devi you can see here these are some more of the survivors accounts of the people who witnessed the bloodbath that day These are the snapshots of some of the brutalities inflicted after the massacre.
uh, you can see this behind me this is a well where the people jumped in to save their lives from the british bullets let's go have a look earlier the people used to throw coins in the well and so if you can see the well is covered on all sides by glass now we're just walking around the memorial and this is a very very important location if you can see these holes in the walls these have been made by the bullets that were fired on that very day these have been highlighted just to make it conspicuous for the visitors let's move to the next location this is the jallianwala park memorial also known as the flame of liberty this is another gallery which shows the different freedom fighters of india this urn holds the ashes of shaheed udham singh he was the one who assassinated michael o dwyer under whose commands the jallianwala bagh massacre took place
जिससे एक हजार से ऊपर भारतीय शहीद हुए और पंद्रह सौ से अधिक घायल उन दरिंदों ने बच्चों तक को नहीं छोड़ा उस दिन पंद्रह बच्चों का 